Uh, just getting packed up, trying to tie up some loose uh, things as I get ready here to go out and take my Step 2 CS exam in Atlanta. One of our YouTube users, Narl, actually asked a really good question uh, and wanted to know more about mine and Jim's experience um, in chiropractic school versus medical school. We thought that was a good idea. Okay, so let me start off with the disclaimer first because whenever you're talking about like someone's education like this, there's a tendency that you might like offend someone and I just wanna say right off the bat, that's not what I'm trying to do. I valued my chiropractic education and my medical education for different reasons. And to be honest with you, I don't think that I would be in the place that I am or really ready for medical school had it not have been for my experience with chiropractic. But that's not to say that there's not differences and that's not to say that there's not things that could be improved about the chiropractic education process now that I have gone through both. Please, we don't wanna get like a bunch of like messages saying, oh, you're bashing chiropractic, you're bashing medicine, you're bashing. We're not, I'm just talking about my experience and what I found were the differences between the two educational programs. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna dispel a myth right off the bat. The minute that you get to medical school, you, contrary to whatever somebody may have told you, you don't actually have to turn in your chiropractic diploma and denounce BJ Palmer. In fact, I actually found that most of the medical physicians and the teachers that I was working with thought that my background in my education was a huge advantage for me. To be honest, I would have to agree with them. When, you know, looking at like anatomy and the physiology, uh, I had a huge leg up on my classmates when it came to some of that stuff. And it showed in my grades, I was able to do, you know, had anatomy TAing and, and you know, doing all that kind of stuff. So that definitely gave me a leg up. But by no means does that mean that it was like complete. Like I walked in and medical school was a breeze because chiropractic and medical school were exactly the same or equivalent in any way. Which brings me to a point. So the fact that I even had to dispel that myth means that there are these like sentiments out in the ether that it's like us versus them, chiropractic versus medicine. And I just don't get that vibe being in medical school. Um, I honestly think that the bigger problem is the lack of understanding uh, that the two professions have for each other. All right, so my next uh, question that uh, I wanted to answer for Narl was my motivation for going back to medical school. I felt very cut off from the medical world after I graduated from chiropractic school and got out into practice. In school, it's totally different. I was integrated into hospitals and I was working with other providers and uh, I did a, you know, a spine uh, externship at George Washington University. I, the collaboration was there, the uh, you know, mental uh, exercise and the gymnastics that you had to do to try to come up with a good treatment plan for, for the patients is there. And that was just lacking when I got into chiropractic. Um, and the other thing was the reduced scope of practice, I think, is a huge problem for dealing with musculoskeletal complaints. Some people just need a little bit more uh, treatment and need a little bit more invasive things. And, and that's, you know, kind of a confirmation bias in chiropractic that the people who we see and we get better, that those are the only patients that exist. But we have to remember that we only see 7% of the population. I think that having the extra tools, having the extra skills, having the extra knowledge that comes with going through medical school and uh, hopefully that will come from a residency. I think is only going to help me feel a little bit like I'm I'm doing you know my part. I'm doing everything that I can, and I think it'll help my patients more to have that diversity. All right. So the last thing uh, that uh, Nara wanted to know was what is the difference between chiropractic and medical school? And that's a tough, that's a tough question. It's gonna be different for everybody, but I, I narrowed it down to uh, three things. The first thing is that in medical school, your clinical experience is in a hospital. And as a result of that, you tend to see a lot sicker patients. I use that you know, term just because I think it resonates with people. Um, the pathology that you see in the hospital in medical school is just much more diverse and vast. I mean, I was seeing vascul you know, vasculitis, um, like Wechner's and microscopic polyarteritis, and all the way to 
aneurysms and dissections and you know trauma cases and subdurals you just see all of the things that in chiropractic school you only really get to read about and that's a huge disservice i think to training chiropractors that they're not more involved at the hospital level and i know that there's programs that are out there that are starting to do that but it needs to be a requirement across the board the second thing is that the pressure to perform in medical school is far greater than in chiropractic school and I don't mean that as like a slight, I'm just saying that your grades and your board scores matter so much more in medical school. Your chiropractic board exams, it's good enough in most instances for you to just pass. Now, no, you know, no one wants to just pass. They study very hard so that they you know, really do well, but just passing is okay. And I had a lot of friends in chiropractic school who did study hard and excel, but I also had some that were just hoping to pass. Just hoping to pass does not cut it in medical school. If you just pass, you're not gonna be able to pick uh, the specialty that you want. Um, you may find it very difficult to match into a residency, especially like for me, who's an international medical graduate coming from Ross. My board scores have to be you know, on point and, and that puts a lot of pressure on you. Secondly, the board exams are much different. The only way that I could kind of explain it or the best way that I could explain it is the chiropractic board exams feel very superficial. Like you could read the Irene Gold book and study for a few weeks and go in there and you would be fine. Uh, I had some friends who took Irene Gold and rocked their board exam and didn't spend a ton of time studying outside of uh, taking those classes. Um, in medical school, that's not gonna cut it. And I think the reason is the medical board examiners, the NBME, the questions, are on a different level of difficulty. They really force you to not just superficially know the stuff, but they really want you to understand it and be able to manipulate it and apply it in different ways. And so that adds to that pressure to perform, that adds to that pressure to do well. I've never been so nervous to take you know, an exam than I was before my step one. Which by the way, reminds me, our other uh, co-director, Jim Eubanks, is probably studying right now. Uh, he's got his step one coming up. I know he's gonna rock it. I know he's gonna do well. He always does. He is preparing really hard and doing everything that he should. So Jim, good luck. Uh, you got this, bud. Hopefully, maybe he'll be able to make some comments after his exam is over on exactly what I'm talking about here. Difference number three, the amount of knowledge is far greater in medical school. Some of you may be upset by that or you know think that's kind of, it's not, but you just have to think about it. Chiropractors are dealing with musculoskeletal issues and the spine. All medical students are being trained like general practitioners. So they're getting MSK, the spine, uh, and some of that stuff, but they're also getting general surgery, OBGYN, psych, peds, uh, you know, neurology, uh, and, and every single medical specialty in between, you have to know enough to at least be a generalist. You're not gonna know enough as an attending, but you at least have to know enough. And so the amount of information is just insane. I mentioned before Irene Gold, that little thin you know, book, it wasn't that thin, but it was thin enough, uh, in chiropractic school, uh, is kind of like the Bible for, for chiropractic board exams. So in medical school, this book right here, First Aid, um, is kind of like the Bible for step one. And, and it is massive. I mean, there's just so much stuff in here. Uh, and, and you have to not only just know it, you have to know it. So it ups the ante a little bit and you feel that. All right, so those are the differences. Those are the key differences. My motivation and kind of my overall experience as a, as a DC going back to become an MD, it was great. I, I really enjoyed uh, you know my medical education so far. I was treated very well. I was not disrespected. They looked at my chiropractic degree as being something good and I thought it gave me a great base and a foundation. However, there are some key differences as we just talked about. I just wanted to make one point at the end uh, of something that kind of bugs me and I know I talked to Jim about it and I, I know this is something that bugs him. I've been seeing a lot lately of these shares from uh, chiropractors, classmates of mine, who um, and and other people sharing these things that are like charts comparing chiropractic school and medical school and talking about the hours and the so first of all let me just say that they're completely false. Yes, the classroom hours may be more in chiropractic, but those charts aren't accounting for the amount of time that we're in the hospital. They're not accounting for the amount of added time that we have to spend studying. They're not accounting for a lot of the things that make medical school 
uh, more complete than that chart is trying to you know, allude to. The second thing that I wanna say about those charts, how is that really helping the problem between chiropractors and medical doctors that we alluded to before that we don't understand each other that well and there's this divide. Those charts only serve to try to further that divide and, and, and somehow, um, you know, say that one is better than the other or that, you know, and I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that one is better. I'm just saying that they're different. And so I would ask that anybody who sees this stop sharing those things. Stop trying to perpetuate that. Uh, number one, it's just not true. Uh, if you're out there and you think that chiropractic school is just as hard as medical school, I can tell you from experience, it's not. For all of the reasons that we just talked about. What we need to do is embrace the fact that we're all studying to be specialists. Embrace what you know chiropractors specialize in. Embrace the fact that it's our uniqueness and our differences that are going to help us all work together collaboratively as a team to try to help patients the best way possible. That's the one thing I'll say, stop sharing those charts, please. If you do see those charts, just you know, ignore them. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. We need your help to try to grow this. I can only give you my opinion, but I'd love to hear other people's opinions. And in order to do that, we have to reach, you know, more people. So we need Facebook shares. We need tweet shares. We need you to retweet all of our stuff. We need you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and if we share these things, we can get more people out, more people engaged in the discussion, and then the discussions can actually be more beneficial. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Stay tuned uh, for the step two vlog, which will be coming out uh, soon. Uh, my flight leaves tomorrow morning, so I'll be vlogging and hopefully get that up next week. We will see you again real soon. Have a good rest of your weekend. Bye now.